EV toll pilot training is rewriting the rules of aviation and getting us ready for a flying future. What challenges and opportunities await as we step into this new world of aviation? Let's jump in and see what's coming for EV toll aviation. Flying a vehicle that's part helicopter and part airplane is no longer just a futuristic idea. EV tolls or electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft are making it happen. To get ready for this new kind of aircraft, the FAA has rolled out groundbreaking rules to train and certify pilots specifically for EV tolls. This is huge. It's the first new civil aircraft category since helicopters were introduced in the 1940s. The new rules focus on preparing pilots to handle the unique way EV tolls operate taking off vertically like a helicopter but cruising horizontally like a plane. Training will also use updated systems, letting pilots practice with single controls instead of the older, more complicated dual setups. The regulations also set standards for things like how much visibility is needed and the minimum safe flying altitude. These changes are designed to support the broader goals of advanced air mobility. According to FAA Administrator Mike Whitaker, this new framework is a historic rule that clears the path for EV tolls to be used for urban air taxis, medical transport, and even regional cargo delivery. Learning to fly an EV tall is a completely different challenge compared to traditional planes or helicopters. These aircraft aren't just about new controls, they require mastering a whole new way of flying. Since EV tolls often operate in busy urban areas and take off from vertiports on skyscrapers, the approach is very different. Existing pilot certifications for planes or helicopters don't cover what's needed for EV tolls. That's why the FAA introduced a special Federal Aviation Regulation, SFAR, with specific training requirements. These include learning how to handle vertical takeoffs, cruising, and navigating urban environments. Simulators play a big role in this training. FAST, a leading company in simulation tech, has created mixed reality simulators that blend real physical flight controls with virtual environments. These simulators let pilots practice high-rise landings and complex urban missions, all with advanced graphics running at up to 90 frames per second thanks to cutting-edge GPUs. This high level of realism is key to preparing pilots for the unique demands of EV tall flying. How do you train someone to manage a system that mostly flies itself? That's the big question behind EV tall pilot training especially as many of these aircraft are being designed with autonomous systems in mind. Take Quantum 3D, for example. They're working on projects like a pilot trainer for a major manufacturer and a marketing simulator for the Limosa Limo Connect, a seven-passenger EV tall. These simulators help pilots prepare for real-world scenarios, including overseeing autonomous systems, navigating urban routes, coordinating with vertiports, and dealing with emergencies. Other companies like Loft Dynamics are using virtual reality simulators to push the limits of training. Their first VR EV toll simulator, made for Dufour Aerospace's Aero 3, is expected to launch by 2025. NASA is also in the mix, partnering with Quantum 3D to create advanced training tools that focus on realistic, physics-based scenarios for autonomous flight systems. The aviation industry is dealing with a serious pilot shortage and EV tall companies are feeling the pressure. Airlines and the military are competing for the same talent, making it tough to find enough qualified pilots. One solution? Autonomous technology. While fully autonomous EV tolls aren't ready yet, semi-autonomous systems could help lighten the load for pilots and make it possible for less experienced operators to step in. The FAA's powered lift regulations will eventually decide how many flight hours are needed for certification but companies and regulators are already working together to shape these standards. Archer Aviation is leading the way. They've teamed up with Etihad Training to recruit and train pilots for their midnight EV tall in the UAE. By 2025, a cutting-edge simulator will be up and running at Etihad's training center in Abu Dhabi, marking a big step towards solving the pilot shortage problem. The EV toll pilot training system is being built from scratch with simulation and training companies taking the lead. For example, Quantum 3D has teamed up with Varjo for XR3 headsets, Bruner for motion bases, and BlackShark.ai for image generation technology. 
This collaboration ensures that simulators are up to the task of training pilots for EV tall operations. FAST is taking a similar route, adding instructor stations and creating advanced motion systems that go beyond the usual six degrees of freedom. Their simulators are designed to make zero flight time certification possible, meaning pilots can fully qualify using simulators instead of real-world flight hours. At the same time, companies like Archer and Loft Dynamics are expanding their training partnerships worldwide, working with regulators like the UAE's General Civil Aviation Authority and the FAA. This teamwork is key as EV tolls approach their first commercial flights, expected between 2025 and 2026. EV toll pilot training is entering an exciting phase of development. With new FAA regulations, advanced simulators, and global partnerships, the industry is getting ready for a new chapter in aviation. Each step is helping to prepare the pilots who will lead the way in this transformative journey. What do you think? Are we ready for the EV toll revolution in aviation? Share your thoughts about the future of pilot training in the comments below.